Hi, this is Paul, the SDR guy. And in today's video, we're going to learn how to make a simple spectrum analyzer just using an RTL SDR and GNU radio. This is episode 19 and a huge shout out to Gary Schaefer. Gary's a great guy and we are collaborating a great deal in putting together these videos. Well, before we get started and get too far down the road, what in the world is a spectrum analyzer? Well, a spectrum analyzer is an instrument that shows a signal's amplitude versus frequency, and that's called its spectrum. And this is rather than looking at voltage over time using an oscilloscope. You see which frequencies are present and how strong they are. And this is great for finding carriers, harmonics, spurs, noise, and interference. What's some common uses for a spectrum analyzer? A spectrum analyzer lets you measure how much signal power sits at each frequency. Here are the most common things you can measure with it. Carrier frequency and amplitude, harmonics and spurs, spectral, spectral density, and noise floor. Here's an example of my real physical spectrum analyzer. Well, today we're looking at, at building a simple spectrum analyzer. And spectrum analyzers tend to be expensive and beyond the reach of many hobbyists. What if we could create a relative, relatively inexpensive spectrum analyzer? Well, the wait is over. We can do this by using an RTL SDR and GNU radio. The links to all the resources will be included in the video description. Additionally, the spectrum analyzer that we're going to be looking at has zoom capabilities. After you launch GNU Radio, you will want to load the SARTL SDR flow graph. And that is what we are looking at right now. Let's notice that we are using an RTL SDR source. And since you have access to my GitHub repository and this flow graph. We're not going to waste your time by building this thing from scratch. We'll just uh, come to the, the final product. And in my case, I'm using an RTL SDR V4. And the frequency range on this goes from uh, roughly 500 kilohertz up to 1.766 gigahertz. We are beginning with a sample rate of 2 million samples per second. And coming straight out of our SDR, we're going to be looking at a waterfall. We're going to be looking at a time sink. This is like a, an oscilloscope. And we're going to be looking at a frequency sink. And this is actually what our spectrum analyzer is. The last thing that I want you to note here is that uh, we're using a rational resampler and we're changing the sample rate, we're decimating it by 20. And the reason why we're doing this is we're going to be creating a zoom spectrum. In other words, we're going to show you how you can zoom in to signals of interest. Now this uh, zoom spectrum is mentioned in a very good a digital signal processing book. It's entitled Understanding Digital Signal Processing by Richard G. Lyons. 
And that's the, I believe it's in the second edition, but it's in the third edition for sure. If you're very interested in this, you may want to consider purchasing that book. Let's go ahead and run the flow graph. And here we go. So we have multiple tabs on the user interface. We have a frequency control. And in the United States, we're uh, looking at, uh, to begin with, uh, nearby AM radio stations. We also have a gain control for your RTL SDR. So you'll recall from earlier videos that the sample rate equates to the bandwidth. So with the spectrum analyzer view that we're looking at right now, we can see about two megahertz of bandwidth at one time. And what we can do is where you see peaks, there's, there's obviously some signals there, and you can put this in the crosshairs and you can see the frequencies. And notice up here we've got this turn, tuned to 850 kilohertz. So let's go on and say we want to have a, a zoomed in view of the frequency that we're tuned to now. So we're going to click on Spectrum Zoom here. And here we see a prominent signal right at 850 kilohertz. Also included is a tab for a waterfall. And so here here you go is your waterfall. And lastly, we have an oscilloscope. And the, one of the main reasons why I'm including this is when you're looking for signals, what you can do is you can increase the RF gain. But you want to take a look at this because if you increase the gain too much, then this signal will get larger and larger and clip the signal, which that's a bad thing to do. And there you have it. Here is a GNU radio flow graph using an RTL-SDR to create your very own simple spectrum analyzer. Sometimes we may want to look at signals that are very strong. One example is if you have a, a walkie-talkie or for uh, amateur radio operators, uh, if you have a handy talkie and you want to look at the spectrum and let's, for example, say your handy talkie has a output power of five watts. Well, if you key up or talk on that and you're close to the RTL-SDR, you're going to overload it. Well, what can we do about that? Well, we can use attenuators. Well, what in the world does an attenuator do? A RF attenuator reduces an RF signal's power while preserving the system impedance. And you can think of it as a precise broadband volume knob for RF. And you can pick these things up. Uh, here's uh, an example from Amazon. And notice that this has 3 dB, 6 dB, 10, 20, 30. And if, uh, for example, if you wanted a 50 dB of attenuation, you could simply connect the 20 dB and the 30 dB together. I'm going to suggest if, you, if you're one that likes to explore the signals around you 
and you don't want to have a, a whole bunch of different antennas for listening or for receiving, you may consider a disc cone antenna. What's a disc cone antenna? Well, it's a very wide band, vertically polarized, omnidirectional antenna that's commonly used for VHF, UHF, scanning, monitoring, and test work. Here's an example from Amazon, and you can see what this thing looks like. And the thing I want to call your attention to, that this antenna works all the way from 25 megahertz up to 1.3 gigahertz. Well, that's the conclusion for today, and I hope that you enjoy your new simple spectrum analyzer with zoom capabilities. Once again, this is Paul, the SDR guy. Thank you for watching, and please consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel. Have a great day.